is a tutorial how to repair your seatbelt. Uh, this is this one in particular was from a collision. It doesn't retract, or retract, 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 whatever. It doesn't do anything. It's broken. Um, this is how you how to repair your seatbelt. This particular seatbelt is from a, a Mercedes GL450. Um, this 2008 model. Uh, it's a little more simpler. <clears throat> so I'll be showing you guys how to repair them uh, really easy. I've been trying to find a few videos. When I first started doing this, I've been trying to, been trying to find a video how to uh, figure this out, but um, couldn't find any, so I decided to make my own. <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so to start off, you got three bolts. You got one right here. Bam, bam. You need to take the uh, unscrew them completely, take them off to uh, basically free this out. I'll show you guys. Uh, but uh, Mercedes made a, like a special whatever bolt, whatever you call it. Take it out. I don't, I don't have this proper tools, so what I'd be using, uh, using one of these. Real simple. You just grab and twist. They should come out. You might give it a little yanking, but on the most part they should come out damn look at that once you get it out second one Use these. All right. So what you want to do next? Basically, uh, it's still holding on. You just basically take off the bolts. Um, you have this this gear right here. This gear is triggered uh, by the resistor sensor, and it basically it's triggered in here. And I'll show you guys later. The inside of it but uh basically it, this thing is locked up so you got to get rid of this thing and how you get rid of it is it's basically in in welded how you call it but it's basically it's basically welded to each other um uh, the only way to get rid of it is to basically drill it out so i'm gonna do right here this little knot show you guys closer up well not right there You don't gotta go too much in it to get it out. Just enough. Let's see, a little bit. And basically, you shove a screwdriver in there. Pop it out. There. There. There you go. It's out. All right. So in here you got a foil. I mean, sorry, coil. You got a coil in here, so you got to be careful. But for the most part, this should come out pretty easily. And bam, coil popped out. All right. So I'll show you guys later how to adjust this. But um. You got this gear out, that's good. That's what locked it up basically. Next, you want to remove this. Um, I, I don't know, I would try to we try to go without it, but it locks it up. There's these little these little things right here. This is from the second one that I did. Second one that I fixed. These are the ones that got shut up in there by the airbag, so I just gotta get it out of there. There you go. Bam, out. Now it's free. Just put Fix it back it. all together. It's good to go. All right, so what you want to do next, after you've removed it, make sure again, you don't damage this thing because it's going to screw things up. What you want to do is uh, put this thing back on and uh, basically there's a coil in there. And the way to remove it is that there's little pins here. 
I already pushed two in, and you basically just pop them in, push them in through. It's really simple. Straight up. After that's done, you start falling off. Um, you gotta pop it out. Okay, find a good spot. Here's that. You gotta find a sweet spot. There you go. There you go. All right. All right. So there's a spring in here, coil. And uh, you want it, you want it like this. If it's like if it pops out, it's gonna suck. Uh, you could put it in there. There's a way, but um, it's very really complex. <laughs> so, all right. Spring. So next step, you want to wind it as much as you can. Uh, so when you retract, when you replace put, place a string on it, a spring on it, and put the resistance. All right. You gotta put the when you're gonna put a spring on it. You want to wind as much as it can, as much as grip back. And uh, why why he cut that is basically uh, the resistance. Measure the resistance. Yeah, you guys need to measure the resistance and. Uh, it's usually three point three ohms. Yeah, three point three ohms. That's the, that's the norm. But uh, you need to measure it and uh, basically buy resistors for him. Just to do it. Yeah, eBay eBay should sell them. Okay, so next step. Uh, Get this coil, grab it, grip it at the right, push it around. If you guys can see that. No. Alright, so you wanna basically this coil, right, right here. This little hook thing needs to go in that hole. And basically to uh to get gripped on again. And that might happen too. So this is working process for sure. Hundred percent working process. Cause all right, so can't really do it while holding up. I'll just do it. And show you guys. Bam. All right, you see how the coil, the coil is in the ring right there. It's inside it. I push it in, make sure nice and snug. And then you put the cap back on so it doesn't pop out. Bam, bam. And these little tacks that flew out and I was popping out. Put them back in. And Shove it in there. I'm just gonna put in one. There you go. I'm gonna just shove it too much. Anyway, I'm gonna shove it in there. And uh, let's see if I find another one. Just to be safe, just in case I need to take it off again. It'll be easier. Just take off two rather than take off the entire thing. Alright, after messing around, I finally got the bolts on. Right here, right here, right here, and basically doesn't retract, doesn't do anything right. What you gotta do is you gotta find the sweet spot. That's what we call it, 90 degree angle. And you kind of gotta mess around with it because it's not angled perfectly. You need to screw it in. It's at an angle, so you gotta find that angle. Where are you? There you go. All right, after you find a sweet spot. 90 perfect 90 degree angle the seatbelt should come out re retract and retract and get back in there pretty, pretty easily 
and if you plug on it, it'll stop. And look at that. The spring should bring it back. But sweet spot. Dang it, I lost the sweet spot. Anyways, when you put it on the car, it should work perfectly fine. There you go. A little angle. So, I mean, it works fine. When you need to buy a new one, you can just easily fix or which one you got. And then I'll show you guys how good this, this spring actually is. So this is a spring. This is basically roll over to the end. And I mean, that's, that's brilliant. That's, that's pretty powerful. Okay. In case like you, you stop uh, too hard or something, you know. Bam, it's good. You know, it's going good, it's going good, you know, you're... I mean, it functions perfectly like a seatbelt. In case of, uh, of an accident, they won't exactly, uh, you know, like in a, like in the regular seatbelt, they won't like retract right away. They will, you know, stop. Whenever you need to stop, you know. Pull too hard, bam, they'll stop. Um, so bam, the spring. You don't gotta take apart the you gotta you don't gotta take apart the other side the marble with a little ball bearing that uh, evens it out. Um, so bang, pretty easy. I mean, it took me like fifteen minutes. It takes about fifteen minutes for one seat belt, just because you know things things don't exactly go right. But as you can see, that gear that was there is right there. It's no longer needed. Um, freaking, I don't know what you even call this. No longer needed. Basically, what happens in, in, a, in an emergency, in a car accident, right? Situation where uh, the the resistor is triggered, it basically uh, shoots these things in the seat belt, and there's three of them, and they're basically in a gear like this. Well, it's in here, uh, but they basically they're shot in there, and see there's plenty of room in here, and. Uh, and uh, and as soon as they're shot in there, they lock up, leaving no room, no no space to move, and it's just just it's locked. So two parts you gotta take out. Per functions properly, like like superb. Uh, you don't gotta like I said, you gotta pay six hundred dollars to replace them, get new ones, or pay somebody to do it for you. You can just do it yourself. And uh, alrighty, thanks guys, thanks for watching, guys. Um, subscribe, like this video. And like I said, this is the only video. I mean, this is this is the video, the only video probably on YouTube that's uh that features this. You know, that actually explains how to do it because I uh, I had trouble with this one. Looked online, looked everywhere, and there's no videos. There's no even no write ups. Nothing about how to how to fix it, how to how to do it. And um, thanks, thanks for watching.